Hello everyone, thanks for joining. We are making lotion bars today and um, in the lotion bar recipe is going to be beeswax, shea butter, cocoa butter, avocado oil, jojoba oil, and apricot kernel oil. And then some additives besides all the oils and butters, I'm adding in colloidal oats, arrowroot powder, and lavender and cedarwood essential oil. So I've made colloidal oats before, but it's more of a, it's texture, it's like a little chunky. It never gets super fine. This is the, the size you want. It's more of a flour. So we're gonna get started. I will show you how I make this. So I've got the oils all heating up right now. And um, I have the molds ready. They're these cute little bee molds. And so once I pour them in here, I'll just keep them in here overnight. And then take them out in the morning and put them in their tins. So here we have all of our oil, oils and butters melted together. And um, I'm just waiting for them to cool a little bit. And then I'll add the colorado oats, the arrowroot powder, and then the essential oils. And then I will mix it together and I'll use this milk frother because the arrowroot powder does tend to settle on the bottom. So in between pours, I will mix my, <clears throat> I will mix together this mixture here just to make sure all the arrowroot powder is dispersed. And then I'll just continue to pour. This should fill all 12 and I'm going to have to get another mold, probably one of these since I haven't used these for soap yet. Um, just so that I can put the over overflow in there. Okay. So I'll measure out the oats now. About a three quarter about a half tablespoon to three quarter tablespoon somewhere in there this is 18 ounces of oils and butters mixed together and then I'll do about three quarter teaspoon of air powder That'll take down the greasiness of the bar. It's not as greasy and buttery. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix it together. essential oils, lavender and cedarwood. Everything in here that I need, I'm going to start pouring. I've made the mistake of not mixing before. Um, throughout this process and the last couple of bars were pretty grainy so I do make sure to try to do it between every, every couple of bars now. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got all of the lotion bars poured. And I will unmold them tomorrow so you can see what they look like. Hello. I am back the next day with my lotion bars. They're all set up and I just wanted to give you a quick tip. If your bars feel soft coming out, just pop them in the freezer for a few minutes up to an hour and that'll fix that problem. So I'm going to show you what they look like. And I'm going to pop a couple out so you can see. Super cute. So these are the lavender cedar wood lotion bars. I'm going to turn you over and show you how I package them with coffee filters and tins. And again, if you want, you do not have to even use molds. You can actually just pour the, <clears throat> the oils and butters that are melted straight into your tin and let it set up like that. Then you don't have to worry about freezing them or putting them in the fridge and letting them, you know, get harder before you can pull them out. They can just set up in the tin. And then you just pop the top on and your label and you're good to go. And you don't even have to worry about these things. So it's up to you, personal preference. They're really kind of cute like this, but then if you have a guy in your life who doesn't care about cute, it might just be better to pour them in something like this. It's up to you. Okay, so I just put it in the middle of a coffee filter and set it in the tin like this. And then just bunch it up. And I actually learned this somewhere off YouTube. Um, I've searched and searched um, for different molds that fit into these tins. And I can't really find any. I found really cute oval ones, but that won't work in the tin. So I either just will do these little bee molds, which I really do like. I never get tired of them. Or just pour directly into the tin. Okay. So anyways. Then I'll just cut the top off like so and oil on that and I will close it and then you just want to spray all these out with alcohol which I've done um, and then you can always like clean the top off before you put your label on with alcohol and then it will stick really well so then it's ready to be labeled and it's just really cute when you open it kind of gives it that rustic nice look it's a really nice gift so I am going to finish taking these out and putting them in their tins so you can finish watching or you can sign off now. It's up to you. It's kind of hard to get these coffee filters. I, sh I should have taken them apart before I put gloves on. but.
Lavender cedar would smell so good. It has that all natural smell, that herbal smell. If you like that, I do. I prefer that over synthetic fragrances. Plus it seems to be <clears throat> soothing to my skin, although I don't make any claims. So that is pretty cool. I uh, did not count these <laughs> and I have two left. Two left. So I thought maybe I'd have an extra, but it looks like it's just great.
for my lotion bars. I'm going to use actually used this earlier today. This came out of this mold and I was just going to show you what it looks like. So it is very luxurious. It does not leave a greasy feel. Like after a few minutes, it will definitely soak into your skin and leave your skin feeling so soft. I love this stuff. It has wonderful skin loving ingredients in it. So, thanks for watching. And I hope you attempt to make something like this also. Bye.